All right, so now that we've created an AMI, we are ready to make an auto scaling group. So down below, I want you to go to auto scaling groups. And so what an auto scaling group does is it allows you to um, ensure that uh, multiple instances or servers are, are running. So if you always wanted to guarantee that one server is running, an auto scaling group would uh, have a rule that would check to say, is at least one running? And if not, then launch a new server. Um, also, auto scaling groups are used to meet the demand of whatever traffic you have. So let's say you have a web application or a website and it's getting a lot of traffic and it's going to need more servers. Well, auto scaling groups will uh, uh, determine based on certain metrics uh, that um, the uh, the web application needs more servers and will spin up more servers. And when the, uh, the demand of traffic becomes lower, then it's going to remove servers to meet the demand, okay? So what we'll go ahead and, and do here is create a new auto scaling group. Um, and, oh, they just changed this on me. Uh, so I'm a little bit confused, but we'll just hit getting started. I think that's just a bit of a a uh, thing there, and then we're going to choose our AMI. So this is very uh, similar to launching EC2 instance, but we already have our own AMI. So I'm going to go to my AMIs. I'm just going to select that fresh one there, and we're going to stick with T2 Micro. We'll go next. Uh, we're going to have to name it uh, this launch configuration. So we'll just name this uh, Fresh LC. Um, we're are going to use the my EC2 role there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add storage. Uh, the defaults look great there. Um, the security groups look great there. And we are going to create launch configuration and we are going to drop that down and proceed without a key pair because we don't need one. And we're going to create that launch configuration. So now that we've created the launch configuration, we can go ahead and create the auto scaling group. So we're going to call this one uh, Fresh ASG. ASG is for auto scaling group. Uh, we're going to set the group size to one. So the number of instances the group should have at any time. So at minimum, how many servers should be running. Uh, then we have to have a, uh, a, a network or a VPC. Uh, and we need to choose some subnets. So we are going to choose one and then we're going to choose a, another one here. Okay, we just need a couple there. I'm just going to check advanced details. This all looks great. We're going to configure our scaling policies. Scaling policies are ways, uh, rules that you can use to um, uh, determine uh, how um, uh, the auto scaling group should react to changes within um, its environment, right? So if you have a lot of CPU utilization, maybe that's when it spins up servers. Maybe it's only when there's a lot of uh, data transfer in or when there's a lot of memory. So that's what scaling policies allow you to do. Uh, then we'll go to notifications, uh, and then we'll go to tags, uh, and then we will review, and we'll go ahead and create that auto scaling group, okay? So it says that auto scaling group has been created. We'll hit close. And here we can see our fresh fresh ASG, and it's using our launch configuration, which is our fresh LC. Currently, there are zero instances running. Uh, the desired capacity is one. The minimum servers that should be running is one. The maximum servers that should be running is one, okay? So if we just move this up here and go to instances, um, it should st uh, try to start spinning up servers to meet the minimum demand, which is one. So I'm going to hit a refresh here, and I'm just kind of expecting to see a server uh, starting here. If we're not seeing one here just yet, what I want you to do is right-click here on um, instances and go here, and I bet you a server is starting up. So I don't see any uh, servers running here as of yet. Okay, um, so I'm just going to hit refresh here because usually they would just uh, start spinning up here. But yeah, we'll just give this here a, a little moment here because maybe it's just uh, taking some time to get started. So yeah, we just had to wait even just a minute there and uh, I just hit refresh and already we can see that this is now one and under our instances, um, it is launching a new instance ID. Um, so, or sorry, an instance, that's just the ID of the instance. So if we go back to our instance tab and we just do a refresh here, we can see another instance is spinning up, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to just wait for that instance to start. Um, and uh, once, once it does, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so after waiting a few minutes here, our instance is now started here. I'm just gonna select this one off here, but this is the instance here that is running. That's part of our auto scaling group. So again, we said that auto scaling groups, uh, they can ensure that there's always at least a minimum of servers running. Uh, and so if we were to terminate this instance, so I'm just going to go ahead and terminate it uh, what's going to happen is once it shuts down, we're going to go back to our auto scaling group. It's going to detect that this one is no longer healthy. Okay, so see over here that it says healthy right now, but uh, it will after a while determine that it is unhealthy. And then what it will do as a response, it's going to launch a new instance. So we're just going to wait here uh, for a little bit until this is now flagged unhealthy, okay?
All right, and so we can now see that um, this instance is unhealthy. And so the way um, this auto scaling group is going to respond is by launching a new instance. So now we're just going to wait here a little bit and just keep on hitting this refresh button until um, uh, we see another instance spinning up to replace this unhealthy one. Okay, so I just hit the um, refresh here and so that unhealthy instance is gone. And so I guess what we're just going to uh, wait for here is now a healthy instance to uh, replace uh, that unhealthy one. So just to get back to that uh, that minimum of one server running. Okay, so we'll just go ahead here and just refresh. And so there we go. So we can see that we have a new uh, server that is starting up. So we'll just wait until that one is totally uh, set up here. And uh, we've now accomplished uh, what we wanted with auto scaling groups and we will just destroy this auto scaling group. All right, so our replacement instance is now uh, healthy and in service. So what I want to do is go ahead and remove this auto scaling group. Now, I believe that when we delete this auto scaling group, it's going to take down the instance as well. So we're not going to have to uh, delete that. So I'm just going to go ahead here and delete the auto scaling group and we're going to say a yes. Okay, and so uh, we are going to uh, just watch that delete there and hit uh, refresh there. And also, since we have that instance tab open, uh, we'll hit refresh here. And so we have that instance running. So what we're hoping to see is that this instance is torn down when uh, we uh, have uh, deleted this um, auto scaling group. So we'll just wait here a little bit and see what happens. All right, and so um, if we uh, were to do a few refreshes there, it indeed is shutting down um, that instance that was spun up by the auto scaling group. So when you delete your auto scaling group, it's going to uh, take down those instances as well. So, uh, you know, that's an, uh, it for the auto scaling group section and we can move on to elastic load balancer.